There are over 210,000 DVDs sold on eBay Australia every 90 days. And if, like us, you've thought, hmm, I want some of that action, you're probably asking yourself, but how the hell do I ship them? In today's video, we're going to talk about all the different options for shipping DVDs in Australia, from the cheapest to the premium option, and we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of both of those. Let's talk about untracked services. This is going to be your cheapest option for sending DVDs. And if you send your DVD with an untracked service, it will go into the post as a letter. It also means that your customer won't be aware of where it's tracking or when it should be delivered by. We've been using these generic unbranded padded mailers in a size small, and they cost us 22 cents each. And then it costs us either $2.40 or $3.00 60 using our postal stamps to send a DVD depending on the weight. Now since we last filmed one of these videos the price of stamps has gone up again which is why we have a handy 10 cent sheet so that we can add on 10 cents for every stamp we use. Okay we're heading into tracked options and your cheapest option for sending a DVD tracked in Australia is this medium-sized domestic letter with tracking. To buy this individually over the counter at the post office it's going to cost you $5.30 if you're buying one. If you buy by more than 50 though, the price comes down to $5.04 each. These do get sent in the letter service, so it's less likely to get crushed by someone else's big parcel, but it is only paper. So when we use this service, we do like to put just a little square of bubble wrap in just to make sure that our DVD doesn't get squished. With these ones, you do need to add the details yourself. Don't forget to take off your little tracking sticker and you can also use this QR code to scan the tracking number into eBay. If you wanna go the whole hog and use the parcel service and give your item a bit more protection, then we recommend the Australia Post small padded mailer. The benefit of this is if you're using My Post Business, you can just select the small size. The advantage of this size small padded mailer is you can actually fit about six DVDs into one of these. These mailers cost $1.79 to buy individually, but if you buy more than 500, it comes all the way down to 71 cents each. Now what we've been doing recently to save a little bit of money, you might remember these ones only cost 22 cents each. So if we're only sending one DVD, We've still been selecting small. Don't tell us post, but we haven't gotten in trouble yet. Technically, you're meant to measure and weigh it because it's not Australia Post branded, but it would cost the same. There's a couple of reasons we might also use a box. Number one is if we've sold a DVD that's pretty expensive and we really want to protect it, or if it's just a big quantity bundle. The small Australia Post size box can fit five DVDs, and the medium size can fit eight with a bit of space around it for some packaging. And if you have a lot that's too big for a medium, you might be better off going and getting a free box from Bunnings or recycling one from around your house because you could save yourself a little bit of money if the total weight of the box is under a kilo. And if you're using a box, don't forget to use some filler because you don't want them moving around. There are plenty of boxes available that match the Australia Post sizing that you could get for a bit cheaper than buying these boxes, but Technically, you'd need to measure and weigh them. But you do you. There's a bunch of different ways that you could send DVDs, but these are the ways that we like to use because it makes our job a lot easier and it's nice and streamlined. Now that you've decided which packaging you're going to use, the next step is to decide how you're going to pay and print your labels. First option is to head into your local post office and pay over the counter. This is probably going to be the most expensive option because there are some other ways to get discounts. Option two is to print your labels directly through eBay and they do have some discount rates that are for Australia Post and also for Sendal. Third option and the one that we personally use is to make yourself a My Post Business account and we have made a video on how to do this before. It is free to sign up to My Post Business. You can integrate it directly with your eBay store and the more that you post, the bigger discounts you get, all the way up to band five. If you're printing your labels yourself, then you can use a regular A4 printer and we used to use these sticker sheets so that we can peel it off and smack it straight on our parcel. We have since switched to a thermal printer because it saves us a bunch of time and also money on ink. We're still using the Dymo 4XL which does use generic labels. There's a newer model which is the 5XL but it doesn't take the generic labels. And the last step is to drop it at the post office. 